hello sunshine welcome to the channel in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how i do deep clean my suv it is a pretty big truck and it is in in a need of cleaning i'm going to be showing you guys the way i do it and also going to share with you guys a few tips and tricks on how to keep my truck clean I hope you enjoy this video. I am going to be talking through the video as well as only music. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, become part of this family, and hit that bell to get notified whenever we upload uh, new videos. The great unknown escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking out all trash and any type of items that you might have on the back all the trash from the front and also from like the door sides i am a outnumber mama only boys i have four boys two teenagers and they do play sports so our cart is usually always full of grass and trash and soccer geared and chairs <laughs> A good trick that I always have is to keep trash bags in the cart. Even though usually my cars always are full of trash, once we get home, we usually have our trash bags inside of the truck and that's easier for us to just pick it up, put it in the trash bag, and once we get home, we can uh, then throw it away in the trash can. Uh, another thing that I am going to be doing in this card, I am going to be taking off all like the cup holders and all like the plastic stuff that you might have. Hello sunshine, I hope you are enjoying this video so far. I wanted to come here and quickly introduce myself. My name is Ana Moran and I do lifestyle cleaning videos, uh, fashion videos in this channel. Uh, we do have a family vlog channel. And if you're coming from that channel, welcome. Thank you so much for supporting this channel as well. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this type of videos. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, become part of my family, and hit that bell to get notified whenever we upload videos. I upload Mondays and Thursdays on this channel. And on my vlog channel, we do Tuesdays and Fridays. So I hope that you are enjoying this video so far. And if you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and let's continue. Let's escape. Let's escape. The way I do clean my uh, floor mats, it's I usually use a DIY mixture of water, vinegar, and dish soap. I usually just spray it down onto the floor mat and brush it off with a uh, brush and once that it's brushed I used a carpet cleaner if there's any type of stains in it and uh, dry it out a little bit with a uh, fiber cloth <laughs> Another trick that I have is I first brushed off all like the dirt and the rocks that are inside of the car because once you vacuum it, it's a little bit easier. That way it takes off uh, way faster. Faded in this dark and smoky room Way out face reflecting bright green, brights and blues and I'm gonna continue doing the same process all over the card. I don't think that is what I would usually do. For stains like this one, uh, this was a piece of candy that was stuck into the carpet. I usually take it off with like the back of the brush. That brush, it's from the dollar store. 
uh, take it off as much as I can and once that's off I'm going to brush it off with the same DIY that I had with uh, water soap and vinegar in once I take that off I'm gonna be using the carpet cleaner and brush it and clean it with the uh, fiber cloth rag and then vacuum it so that way the water won't be staying into the carpet another thing that you might want to consider it's using another little tiny brush for like the areas that your vacuum are not able to uh, reach I am using a curvy vacuum that is a vacuum that I've had for a few years already and it's really convenient but it doesn't have any um, brushes that are smaller and that's why I am going to be using a toothbrush and a um, paintbrush like a little brush it's easier for me to take it off that way and try to take off all like the grass and the little tiny areas that you can reach with your vacuum In this card, I'm also going to be brushing off the back of the seats. All the seats are leather, but the back area, it has like a carpet and it's usually dirty, especially like all the way in the back. Um, when we put the chairs and all the bags and stuff, they usually get dirty and full of grass. And that's why I'm gonna be cleaning it off. Um, if it's really stuck, like I said, I will use a brush and then vacuum it with the vacuum and another thing too it's try to find all the opening areas that you might have around the car and vacuum that as well In this car we have a compartment on the back side of the truck and it has like little tiny mats I am going to be clean though cleaning those as well just vacuuming all like the dirt and washing off these little mats with the same uh, spray cleaner that I mentioned at the beginning um, they are rubber so I don't have to wash it or anything like that because we don't put as much as things on the back and they do dust off a little bit but not that much for my leather seats I also use the same DIY with water and soap and vinegar to just dust off all the dirt and like in the little edges I will be brushing it off with a toothbrush to take off all the, like, the little trash around the seat. I am going to be using a leather cleaner. This is actually from the dollar store. I recently did a cleaning card video on my other other channel i'm gonna make sure to link that below on this as well so in case you guys want to go and check it out i usually used uh, dollar store products it the actually this is will be my second time using this product and for the leather seats this is actually really nice and it is cheap um not too expensive and the seats actually they end up staying really well for the front and all like the areas in front of the card i usually dust off with a coffee filters uh be instead of just putting all the spray you don't you don't want the dirt to stay into the car so that's why i'm dusting it off this is another trick that i usually used i like the way it comes out and for the detailing i am going to be using the same uh, paint brush to take off all like the dirt before putting um the liquid to make it shine i am going to be using the tur turtle wax I did bought another product from the dollar store, but I 
really didn't like it so that's why I used the, the total turtle wax this is this is actually a really really good product to use and it stays shiny for a while and now we'll be doing the same process all over the car like on the back side and also the doors I'm gonna be taking off all the dirt with the same DIY that I've been using with a blue paper towels. Um, this usually gets really dirty and I tend to forget. So whenever I do forget it's full of dust, we don't open that window on the back and it's constantly full of dirt. And even if you wash it through the outside and through the inside, it still stays dirty. So that's why I'm going to be opening it and as well as the side of the doors. <laughs> Once I'm done cleaning all the inside, it's time to wash the outside. I usually do the inside first and then the outside uh, to wash it off. I am going to go section by section. It was really sunny when I was washing it and you don't want all the uh, soap to go into marks. So that's why I'm gonna be washing it side by side in little sections. <music> Another trick that I am going to be sharing with you guys is using dryer sheets. Uh, this is something that I've been doing for years already. It's easy to take off all like the mosquitoes that are in the front and usually like on the bottom and on the mirrors. It's really hard to take it off with just the um, sponge that I use so it's easier this way I actually do use the dryer sheets inside as well but you kind of have to be careful with it because you don't want to make any marks but for the outside you just have to uh, re wash it off a little bit and uh, start brushing it now for the tires I am going to be using the tire shine two different products the first one it is from the dollar store and to be completely honest I really didn't like it for the tires to be shine it works really well on the chrome area but not for the tires but I end up using it just to take off all the dirt and once I did took off all the dirt I am going to be using the other product but once it dries out because I actually use that same product to wipe off all like the black areas around the truck to make it shine and once I'm done doing that I am going to be cleaning it off with a regular towel I don't clean it up a hundred percent because after I use the towel I end up using this orange rock that I actually got it from the dollar store as well I can't and for the windows, I am also going to be using a product from the dollar store. Um, this is actually a really, really good product that I am going to go and look for the bigger side over at the AutoZone. And for the chrome area, it, I also do use the same tire shine and chrome product because it really does work on the chrome. <laughs> This is the area that I was telling you guys that I put the tire shine. I also do put it on the black area as well because it makes it really, really clean. On the sides, I do clean it up with the blue rag and on the tires, I just spray it and leave it as it is. We're almost done. Uh, the last step that I will be doing is I'm going to be washing off all like the cup holder and the plastic things that I have around for the card and dry it. It's easier for me to wash it because if you have items that are the ones that you can take it off, it's uh, more convenient to just wash it and dry it out with the 
uh, blue towels. And after you put on your floor mats, this is the final result, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you got your motivation for the week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, become part of my family, and hit that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. And also, comment down below which is your favorite products to clean the uh, leather seats. I'm always looking for a good products to clean them off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.